Oh, hello YouTube, here at uh, John Deere dealership looking at some new iron. Um, this is a 6155R and this R is the uh, nicest series out of the uh, group and this is the 155 engine horsepower on this particular one. And uh, one of the things I noticed here over a 6 over a 7, the 6's uh, still use a, a pressed steel frame rail, kind of like an old 7810. Uh, I like how John Deere has the single push button release hood. Let's see if I can get that to raise. Well thought out. Pause it here. Definitely makes it a little bit challenging with this uh, front grill guard on here to get that hood up. Uh, this is an interesting layout. They get a flat fan that lays vertical and this goes flat, but I guess they got it to fit in there. Um, still has the screens like the old 7430 used to. I'm not so sure how good those are because we used to have problems. <laughs> and it looks like you have to flip that hood to even check your oil here, which I don't like that at all. Uh, Anti-rotation device there on the fan, kind of funky. There's your twin turbo charging. Crap. I do like deer, how they, they have a very easy to open hood, like I say, minus the uh, need to get around this uh, brush guard thing here, or loader guard. Hood guard, I guess it would be called. Mm -hmm. This particular one has 16, 9, 28 fronts. Does have the loader mounts. 6R is the nicest of the uh, series. Um, and in Europe, they're building these with a uh, up to 250 horsepower, and they got the new multi-handle control room. And I think you'll probably be seeing that here in the United States pretty soon. And I noticed the European one just had a flange axles, the wheels are stamped, you know, no dual. But I noticed a couple sold in Europe here as of recent with bar style axles. So that's telling me that they're gearing that tractor up to come to the United States because we run bar style axles here and we run duals a lot. Uh, three point hitch and everything here is pretty standard on it. There's just not much um, about these tractors that's any different from one another. Uh, the only thing that's kind of really different on 6R is they throw the SMV sign up there because they have to jam all this hydraulic crap in this recess because there's just so much shit here to jam in a small amount of real estate they kind of leave that rear of the cab just kind of open. I always thought that looked a little funny but you know like I say I just don't have the room to package especially like a 6250R I mean you're talking 250 horsepower tractor um, in the size of a 7430 body. Uh, get in the cab here. I actually really enjoy these. Out of all the uh, new series of John Deere's, the 6R is my personal favorite. And I always liked the analog gauges in the uh, instrumentation panel. I never really cared for the um, corner post display. That's his personal preference. This particular one appears to have the. Uh, loader sun visor here which i don't know if i'd order that or not but uh and i think this is the direct command i don't know what transmission this is it's not an ibt but it's got the small display too otherwise this is all the same as the uh, 8400 rsrs and they got this all cut down over here pretty nice so you can really get the seat to come around long ways sideways Steering wheel is a little big. Wish that was a little bit smaller. If I move that up a little bit, you can see it's it's pretty tight tolerance to your leg there, but uh, not bad. Uh, shuttle shift. These are all shuttle. Um, like I say, a lot of a lot of power here. Small package tractor, um, but they did a nice job for considering they basically took a 7430, um, you know, platform and revamped it to a 8R style. Cab. So pretty pretty well laid out I think. That would be a proud day with one of these. I don't like the uh, AC down here. I like the 8000 series where it's up in the top and it comes down on you better. Let me have 6000 where it's below. 
But um, yeah, nice looking tractor. I'll check it out here a little more myself. There's a big planter right in front of me. But yeah, this is this is this is neat. Like it even has the keys in it. Somebody left the keys in it here. Yep, they're all booted up. We won't mess with it. It's a weekend. Two door cab. I don't know if this one's got the cab suspension or not, but um, yeah, definitely for a loader, be a hell of a loader tractor. Um, little joystick here. Nice outfit. Uh, like I say, identical console here to the uh, 8400R of ours. But I do enjoy this, especially if you had the ACS steering wheel out of an 8, 8, 8000 series. It's a little smaller diameter and leather. It'd be a little less wacky in the thigh. Oh, that'd be an advantage. But uh, yeah, beautiful little tractor. Well, you definitely give up some creature comforts with this little tractor, you know. You're gonna, it looks like the speakers are up here, whereas the 8s have got the bigger uh, subwoofers and stuff behind you. So you're definitely going to give up some of those kind of features um, with you in, in the smaller tractor package. But uh, overall, it's, it's pretty impressively built. And I'll be excited to see if they come out with the uh, 6250R unveil here in America this year. And uh, that might be a, a, a something I, I would be after because there could be a couple changes I need to make. Uh, I'd hinted about a challenger. Anyway, not going to let any cats out of the bag on any of this stuff because uh, I uh, don't want to stick my foot in my mouth quite yet. But, but anyway, um, nice little tractor. Like I say, if you get a 6250R, it's a new multi-controller and uh, axle mount duels on that bigger tractor. You'd have a surefire winner, in my opinion. And there's Cali, bored as hell. Now, yeah, also at this dealership, there's a John Deere four-wheel drive here, and uh, I'll have to come take a look at it. And this is the 20-year uh, 18. You can tell the first ones had steel fuel tank, then they switched over to this poly one. And uh, these are quite possibly the uh, worst four-wheel drive on the market, by the way. This is a 9520R, and all this BS underneath this deal over here is all your SCR emission stuff. And when they switched over to these uh, fuel tanks like this, they uh, put all this extra crap back here on the frames, whereas this was all previously fenders, unlike a 30 series. And it just seems to me, that's cool, just seems to me like they've just clustered the rear ends of these tractors, something terrible. Hydraulic tank level, that's not bad and it's improved. Um, the pivots are big and heavy on these John Deere's. It's got the optional uh, bigger, heavier, greasable shafts, uh, pivot points. Looks to me like this one has 870 or 38 tires. And there's the uh, famous John Deere extension. And they're shitty dual hubs that'll break the wedges out if you put too much drawbar ballast on them. Or at least ours did. Uh, they got a good engine. 13 fives are nice engines. You can see right through the uh, front end there. More for looks, obviously, than anything is the grills. I, th I like that Challenger. Those batteries are easy to get to. I'm uh, pretty much a diehard John Deere guy for um, several reasons, including service. But uh, these four-wheel drives, in my opinion, the John Deere four-wheel drive is the absolute worst one on the market. That Challenger we just looked at, if you look at basic layout of how it is to work on, this John Deere is just shit bolted on top of other stuff. And that Challenger is a very well thought out uh, design. And I think it's a lot easier to work on things. Everything just seems clustered on here. Uh, hydraulics here, and they have a... Uh, well, that's like a accumulator or something in it. But anyway, it's a pretty large piping they got. That's obviously carrying a lot of flow. It must be a main, main supply route there. And uh, not totally sure what this is. Anybody tell me what's going on there? I'm betting you that we have probably batteries down here. No, it's like a toolbox. Anyway. Just, uh, we used to have a 95, or we had a 9430, we went to a 9560R, and the uh, 9430 
we owned and we needed more power so we released the 9560R and in my opinion it was a flop but uh, these four wheel drives I just they came and see out the right lower window all this blockage back here I just and this is again my opinion my review from what I've owned or what I've had but I really don't think that these uh, John Deere four wheel drives are very nice tractors if I had one that was paid for, I'd take it and be happy. But uh, if I were going to go shop the inter, you know, shop on the internet, and I had to pick one out. I like that cat, or I've had we have had a case that we leased after the deer. Uh, I, th I think the Challenger to case are your more top two. Uh, the John Deere, in my opinion, just kind of sucks compared to those other ones. Just uh, looking around some of the last other stuff at this place, and here's a diamond mower looks like it's getting a fair amount of uh shelf uh wear on it meaning uh fading because it's been sitting here for so long pallets even come apart but uh i don't know what one of these cost but they mount on a skid loader and it looks to me like a pretty damn good design i mean that thing would probably shred stuff like you can't believe is the point of it I'd like to have one of these for about two days but uh, I imagine what that thing costs I probably don't need it that bad a couple little mowers and some mowers and other stuff around here but, uh, a lot of machinery sitting at this place but uh, thanks for letting me walk around at least give my opinion on a couple of particular items and I uh, hope you stay tuned for more videos like this and as always I appreciate all the new subscribers and uh, see you on the next video